Oklahoma Comics here with a totally self-indulgent video. I got that giddy giddy feeling going up, up, up through my body. I'm like a freaking child here. About to meet Chris Claremont. CG Willow Wilson gets a Miss Marvel sign. Did I mentioned Chris Claremont. Meet the Peenies, get my Elf Quest signed. Yo, I'm gonna meet Wendy and Richard Peeny. Like, that's the one comic I didn't sell. I still have all my original Elf Quests. So they're in crappy condition, but I'm gonna meet them, get it signed. Adi Granov, Josh Williamson, Matt Williamsburg. Dude, I am so freaking pumped. I also lost my voice at a Super Chunk show the other night, but hey, whatever, man. It's all good. It's all good. I'll check it out, man. They're as happy as I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, Tacoma Comics here. Just thought I'd show off the shirt I was wearing. This is uh, from Star Wars in concert. Um, Seattle Symphony or some did uh, all the music of Star Wars and Anthony Daniels who plays C-3PO was the um, kind of the narrator, not narrator, but he just came out and introduced them and talked a little bit at, uh, during intermission. That was a really cool show. So about six, seven years ago, um, Key Arena in Seattle, but I just thought this is a cool shirt. Wanted to show it off. Darth Vader made out of musical instruments. All right, this is part two of uh, my Emerald City Comic Con videos. Um, just going to go through my haul, and some of these are already mixed up. Mr. Miracle, number one, I guess this is volume two. Uh, it was half off from um, Cloud9 Comics, um, so this was three bucks, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, one of those massive places that has like the most um, new stuff was selling this for $2.50. I'm like, cool, because it's not on my pull list yet. I meant to order it from Image. I was going to try to order a few comics from companies just to cut down uh, to, on price. $2.50 for Motor Girl. Um, this one, again, was like only $3. I love that cover. Um, I wasn't going to get it. I'm probably not going to continue reading it. You know, what can they do that I don't already know with Hit Girl and Kick Ass? But there you go. I don't think I had this variant. Um, Eric Kennedy did this, and, and he is at Emerald City Comic Con, so I wanted him to sign this. I gotta double check. I think I might have bought something I already had. I'm, I'm not even sure at this point. This one, I will bring back and get Rosenberg to sign tomorrow. Um, this one was, was five bucks, and so I was super, super excited for that, because that's going for quite a bit more. Um, it'd be nice to have the Virgin variant for that too. Got me a little Captain Marvel action there, number one, for, uh, sorry, 250. That was really cool. This one I thought was a steal. X Men 131, uh, eight bucks. So that one, I was like, it's in good condition. You know, it's like 8 it's, 0. It's, it's not new mint, it's very fine. Um, I was pretty happy with that. I showed you earlier that I had a crappy copy of this, um, all crinkly on the back, so I got myself a replacement. Only problem with that is uh, that Claremont's not going to be there Sunday, so I don't have this one signed. So I'm probably going to keep the one that's signed and keep this one because whatever. Um, the substitutes. Why did I buy this? Because I'm trying to support people that are lesser known that I don't know. Um, I've never heard of Maisha or Misha. I guess Maisha Haynes. Um, she seemed really nice. She was sitting there in one of those booths that wasn't getting a lot of traffic. She had this book called The Substitutes. So I said, hey, what's The Substitutes? And she told me it's... These three slackers here accidentally get the weapons and the powers of these three superheroes here. And the book is about what the heck these three superheroes do now that they're regular people and what the heck these three regular people do now that they're superheroes. I thought that was cute. I'd give it a try. Um, the only press booth had this. Um, so I grabbed a free comic because I always grab free comics that I haven't gotten before. Um, that's it. Wow, that was a short haul. Um, so, yeah, I just got a few things um, other than the mounds of stuff I had. What I lost was really upsetting. Um, I had a blue plastic bag. I went to, it was um, from Skybound, the image and print, and they had their uh, Skybound exclusive Funko Pop of Lion Cat from Saga, the glow-in-the-dark variant. And I left it in the bag along with two free Star Wars novels that I got Chuck Wendig and I'm sorry to say the other guy, but the other guy, one of them signed him to uh, one of my sons, one of them signed them to my other son. Uh, so I lost those and I had gotten them um, a bag of uh, Copic papers. Um, Copic's the markers that my kids love, they're both artists. Um, and so <laughs> I, I just left that bag. I had three bags by the end of the day. I had uh, 
red shoulder bag. I had my cooler that I put my comics in and I had um, that bag and I must have just put it down right at the end when I was meeting Mitch Gerads or, or I don't know, sometime um, put it down. Uh, last thing I got here is Love is Love. Um, and I thought this is pretty cool. I don't know if I can find any of them quickly. There we go. There's Jim Zub. Sign down the bottom there. Um, there's about 50 or 60 creators on this. Um, I got whew, I got a, about 20 of them on this now. James Tinian, Marguerite Bennett, um, Matt Rosenberg, a whole bunch of people. Mirka Adolfo, whom I didn't realize this, but she did the... Um, Sorry, I'll show that to you. She did the cover and I think the artwork to the Shade the Changing Girl um, Wonder Woman uh, Doom Patrol Milk Wars thing that came out recently. That was actually pretty cool. Um, so she was on that. And so I'll bring that back tomorrow to get her to sign. So I got maybe 20 comics tomorrow to sign. Um, pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm realizing that this video is five minutes long. So I'm just going to show you my new comic book day pickups. Uh, why not? There's Sex Criminals uh, 22, Follow the Honey. Haven't read that yet. Kind of excited to read that. I talked about Abbott before. Um, Boom Studios did not have uh, any copies of number two, but it was actually at my comic shop. If I like this one, this will get added to my pull list. Uh, one of my favorite comics ever is Rat Queens. Um, really excited that this is still going. It's still going fun and interesting and really have been a blast reading it. Department H, second to last uh, issue. Excited for that. Not excited for it to end, but excited to read it. And I got some back issues. I missed like 18, 19, and 20, so I lost a bit of the storyline there. Uh, Champion 17, one more issue for Mark Wade. Then he switches to, I guess, the new Avengers book, I think. And then um, Jim Zub takes over. So I'm actually going to see if I can find a blank sketch cover for Champions 1 and have him sketch that for me and pick it up at the end of the day tomorrow if he doesn't charge too much. This finally came out after gosh knows how long, probably about four or five months. But I'm excited to read this, really excited. And then finally, Lumberjanes 47, super stoked. Um, Issue 50 is coming up. That's a comic that, you know, we didn't think was going to make 50 because, uh, you know, a comic about girls at summer camp doesn't really fit in the boxes for popular comics, but good for them. They, they went for it. They kept the storyline and the characters consistent. They've expanded it. So there, there's mermaids and Sasquatches and boys cabin and transgender characters and Older characters used to run the camp. I mean, they all keep coming in. Gods and goddesses, everybody's coming in. Lumber James. I just love it because I used to be a camp counselor for many years. Um, worked as a director of like the outdoor program, rock climbing and backpacking at a Boy Scout camp for about 10 years. So that whole camp feel really does it for me. So yeah, that was a much shorter video than I thought. I should have tried to balance it out. This is coming in at eight minutes. The other one was like 15. Uh, I got one more to do today. So just doing a lot of videos today. That's cool. I'm going to be my haul from Half Price Books today, and that's actually a pretty cool one. And then uh, tomorrow I'll film footage and take pictures of whatever I get at uh, Emerald City and do one more tomorrow night. So like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like I said, I'm up to 92. I'd love to hit that 100 mark. Uh, some of these books I'm showing might end up as uh, prizes for contests. It seems to be the thing to do, and certainly not one to buck trends when the trends are cool enough. So uh, I'm going to go do that. All right. Take care, guys. Tacoma Comics saying see you later.